Alright, so what is up guys? In this video we're going to be making a very simple chatbot and the goal of this tutorial is going to be to show you how you can make the UI for an actual chat. So let's get started immediately by clicking on this chatbot icon and as soon as it starts you'll see we get a message from Igor that wants to help us and the first message we're going to type in is hello. And Igor is going to give us one out of three possible answers and we can also ask Igor what's up and he's going to give us a nice response depending well I guess I couldn't say what's up but I can say how are you and then he'll be able to respond correctly and there's another few features about this chat app that you should know about and that is if we want to solve a math equation we can just do solve 33 times 77 which is hard enough to calculate unless you have a calculator and Igor will take care of that for us. And I also want to show you how you can delete messages and it will still provide us a very nice animation. And also most importantly, every time we enter a message, you'll see the recycler view will zoom down to the bottom of the recycler view so we can see the latest message displayed. And this works also if you get out of the app and you go back to the app, we will be resumed on the same spot we left off. So a lot of good features here, plus the UI looks really, really nice. Everything is white and bright. And let's go and put something else in this type in uh, what time is it? And add a question mark and Igor will give us the date and the time. Of course, you can change this to only give the time, but I thought it was pretty neat that it also gave the date. And also let's go ahead and pretend we need to flip a coin. Let's tell Igor to flip a coin. So flip a coin. Igor with a exclamation mark and let's click on sent and he flipped the coin and it landed on tails. So we also included this feature that allows Igor to flip coins, which is great. And finally, let's pretend we want to search something on Google. All we have to do is type in search and then we can say uh, blue cats. I hope that will find something that's not too inappropriate. And let's see. So essentially there are some blue cats. The Russian blue cat is a breed that comes in collars. So as you can see, it inserts it in the search bar above, which is absolutely great. And I also added the command open Google. And all of this will be taken care of inside our chatbot. And of course you can customize this chatbot however you like. You can insert your own commands. This won't be using any AI technology or any machine learning. This is a very vanilla chatbot that has pre-made responses and it's great. I actually like it a lot. I'm still playing around with it because I just enjoy adding features to it every single day. And the code will be available on GitHub, of course, but uh, I'm very excited to bring this tutorial to you guys because it's a very simple way to use the Recycler View, but you learn so much about it and it shouldn't be more than four episodes. It's a very small app to make, but I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw so far and we're gonna be making this very shortly so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching